Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL training session with Learn at Nostar. In today's video, we are going to explore another SQL function which is used for time zone conversion. So if you have data coming from two different time zones and you want to make a comparison between the two time zones, then you can use the SQL function which is at time zone to perform that conversion and then ultimately do the comparison. So let's see how this can be done. So the time zone in which your system is set up will be the time that will be shown on your system if you perform a get date function. So if I just do select get date, I should be seeing the time that is displayed on my system over here. So it is 22nd of August 2321 and if I go down here, this is the same time that I see over here. Now this is not actually the UTC time. So UTC time is the standard time and every time zone will have an offset relative to the UTC time. So I'm just going to do select get UTC date. And if I execute this, you would be able to see that the UTC date is different than the system date that we have got. Now to see that offset, we can simply do select sys date time offset. So if we execute all these three, you will be able to see that this is the offset that we have got. So the first one is the current system time in the current time zone. And this is minus four in relation to the UTC time. As we can see over here in UTC, the time is 3 a.m. early in the morning, whereas the current time here is 11 p.m. So these are the different time zones. All the comparisons can be done by considering the offset with respect to the UTC time zone. Now let's open another window and declare and I'm just going to declare a variable in date time format and I'm going to declare a date. So something like this and let's assume that this date is uh, in the Indian standard time zone. So now when we're going to do a comparison on our system, which is going to give the time in the Eastern standard time zone, then if I do a simple comparison, it is not going to work. So let's say I write a query and I say select case when at date is greater than get date then one else zero and as let's say date time difference so if I do this kind of a comparison, obviously this is not right because the different times are in the different time zones. I should be able to make the comparison only when both of these time zones are converted to a common time zone, which might be the UDC time zone. So for that, I need to just specify to SQL Server that this time zone that I am referring to over here using this variable is the India standard time zone. As soon as I tell SQL Server that this is the India standard time, it will calculate the offset for that. And that offset depends on the registry. There's a window registry file which defines all these time zones. Based on that, the offset will be calculated and the correct time will be interpreted and the comparison will be made. So here before executing this query, if we simply do select add date and use this function which SQL Server provides and this equivalent function in other databases as well. So I'm just going to say add time zone and within single quotes, I'm going to specify the time zone name. So it makes it very easy. I do not need to know the offset, which means I do not need to know whether that time zone is five hours ahead of UTC or five hours behind UTC. I do not need to know all that. I can simply reference to the time zone by the name. So I'm just going to say India standard time. Now, as soon as I write this, if I execute only this part, 
you will see that it has calculated the offset on its own plus 5 hours and 30 minutes. So it is able to calculate that offset. So this allows me to make a comparison by just specifying to SQL Server that this date has to be treated as a time from the time zone of India Standard Time. So that is the only thing that I'm going to do over here, which is India Standard time and then i'm going to make that comparison with the get date we need a space over here and now let's add the time zone with the get date so i'm just going to say add time again we got the space at time zone eastern standard time and now if we execute this query you will see that the date time difference is zero because the time that we have given is not greater than the current time. The current time in India is 9.16th or 9.16 a.m. of August 23. So if we go back here and make it, let's say, greater than the current time. So 9.47 will be greater than the current time. And then what we're expecting is the difference should be one over here because it obviously it's greater than the current time. So the comparison has happened all in terms of the UTC time, which is the common standard time that all these time zones have been converted to. And then the comparison has happened. So this is how we can perform the comparison using the add time zone function in cases when you have data coming from different time zones and stored in data base with different time zones now there's also something called the data time offset data type if you have stored it in that uh, data type then you can skip all these conversions because that stores the offset um, the offset uh, in terms in relative to the UTC and therefore you do not need to specify the at time zone function now let's say we just have the data and we don't have the offset stored in the all the data types are date time then in that case another scenario may be that maybe you just want to display this time in terms of Eastern time zone instead of the India standard time zone so what you can do in that case is again you can just use this function two times so what we are going to do over here is select uh, at date and use this function at time zone and first we have to make sure we have to tell the system that this is the India standard time so India standard time and then use the function again at time zone and then use eastern standard time now if we execute only this much part it is converted it is it has been converted to the eastern standard time and the offset for the eastern standard time is also mentioned over here so you can just take the first part of this and display it in your report or wherever you need to display it so you can use the add time zone function very conveniently to make all these time zone conversions and perform comparisons or just simple data type data time zone conversions i hope that you like this video tutorial if you did then please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also please like comment and share this video and we'll be posting many more videos soon thanks a lot for watching bye